happening tonight in Toronto. What I heard today from the minister was he's given up. Remote online learning will be an option again for all students straight across Ontario this coming September. Tonight, is it a political play to make it a permanent fixture? We've committed ourselves to consulting uh, on providing that choice. Again, I reiterate from all chief medical officers that the AstraZeneca vaccine deployed in the middle of a third wave has saved lives and prevented serious illness. The Public Health Agency of Canada tries to clarify NACI's COVID vaccine advice that you can wait for your preferred vaccine if you live in a low-risk area. A TTC bus driver is assaulted for telling customers to wear masks. This is not new to the TTC and, and it, it just keeps happening. The Transit Union calls for more safety precautions coming up. This is City News Everywhere. Good evening, I'm Adrian Gobriel. Welcome to City News. Virtual online learning will be offered yet again for all students across the province of Ontario this coming school year. Though critics say today's announcement by the provincial government is a political play to make remote learning a permanent fixture. What I heard today from the minister was he's given up. This should not be an excuse to open up permanent online learning for our children. What we heard in the consultation absolutely clearly is that parents want that choice for this September because we're unsure of where this pandemic will take us. The big news about a continuation of online learning as an option was rolled into Ontario's fiscal plan for school boards across the province next year. Today's announcement includes $1.6 billion to help with COVID costs and allows boards to again dip into reserve funds. $80 million has been earmarked for up to 1,000 mental health workers to help students struggling through the pandemic. We have built a learning recovery and renewal plan to help them overcome the difficulty that this pandemic has created. The NDP claimed the Ford government is simply announcing money while downloading much of the responsibility and execution onto school boards, while also claiming there's something more sinister in the works for Ontario students. The government has actually been uh, shopping around uh, a permanent online learning plan uh, to stakeholders. City News received a copy of the proposal, the NDP claim, that the province has sent out titled Expanding Student Access to Online and Remote Learning. Inside the package, it notes the plan under consideration is to establish remote learning as a permanent part of the elementary and secondary school system. Really what it does is it takes money out of the public education system, siphons it off over into, into online learning, 